Accessible travel is about inclusion for all. It's not one particular disability over another. And it's important to remember that disability is both visual and also hidden, and we can't forget that. I think accessible travel is really important for Australia's tourism recovery. It's about connecting with people that we might not have been connecting with previously. And it's about providing experiences that really welcome everybody. The thing I've found with accessible travel is uh, they're the easiest customers to deal with because they are just so thankful of the ability they're able to have an opportunity to participate. You know, it's um, the year 2022. This is just the right thing to do. We know that we need to embrace and welcome everybody. That is the right thing to do. So in the accessible tourism space, Australia, we're at the infancy, which is an awesome opportunity because we can create whatever we want. In a more established market like the US, they just naturally cater for people with different needs. So one of the most important things to us is that we offer a accessible event to the public. So accessibility means that we offer a free event. We cater to families, to children, and to also different generations within the family. I think it's incredibly important to be that accessible, to see young children going out with their grandparents who might be in a wheelchair and with their sibling who is in a pram is just incredibly heartwarming to watch. To be able to share those sort of special experiences and make those memories is just brilliant. So if you're a business owner, there's small changes you can make to make your business more accessible, whether it's just large print on a menu or product list, whether it's a QR code in the same position of a sheet of paper all the time, they all go a long way to making the guest's experience 100% better than what they're getting today.